Hey guys, I'm back with part two of Legacy of Goku, and I decided to go ahead and increase my power level, because if y'all remember I died at the very end of the video on part one, I decided to go ahead and increase my power level to five, and that way we could go ahead and go on to the next part, so hopefully I don't die. We are going to find out. Off we go. If I remember correctly, we need to collect these rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Is there anything over here that's going to kill me? Okay, there's a dog. And he's chasing me. There's lots of dogs. <clears throat> okay, so what I did is I just went ahead and got rid of the wolves and now this time Just so awkward. Ah. I think the wolves are actually just as strong as the crabs are, but the problem is, is they're so much faster than the crabs, and so it's hard to keep up with them. Okay. Where are they? Rick. Okay. I'm going to. And we are going to fly down here. Now, if I remember correctly, this dinosaur is extremely slow, so you can't. Okay, maybe he's a little faster now. <laughs> okay. Now, there is a trick to killing this dinosaur that some people may already know. But some people may not even know it. So, this is what you do. Get him to come to you. And he shouldn't be able to attack you as long as I'm standing in the right spot. It's been a long time, so I don't remember. Seems to be working so far. He's just really powerful, so you have to push them a long time. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Is that blood? Okay. So. That's how you do it. You just stand there, and it's a great way to to train. Especially right before you go fight at it. Because the only thing about this game is that it's so hard to train in certain spots because sometimes you hit places where you have a lot of enemies, but they they just don't give you a lot of experience. But then you have some really strong enemies, but you're too weak to fight them. 
So it's really hard to train in this game. So we do have opportunities like that which come by very rarely in this game to kind of cheat and use glitches to help you train. Use them and get as very strong and get as strong as you can because that opportunity is not going to come by again for a while. So. Yay! Some help. Now comes the part in the game where in pretty much all adventure games where you have to start helping the citizens in order to get more um, to get to the next part of the game. Okay, maybe I need to go in the house. Break room. Oh, this is just a retarded mission where you gotta rescue that girl. I hate that mission. Oh yeah, his boat's across the... Do I have enough? That's a weird part about this game. It's like some of the missions that you do don't actually really technically get you to the next part. They give you more experience points, which is kind of odd. So. Okay. So she basically had nothing to say. So pretty much my only option is to go find that girl. Oh, here's Yancho. I forgot about him. She don't want to talk to you. I think that's, if I remember correctly, that's where you go rescue the girl, but I think there's a lot of wolves and stuff in there, so I'm going to get trained up a little bit with the dinosaur first. So, what's my experience at? Okay, yeah, I still got a little bit to go before I get to level 7 and 8 and stuff. I'm probably going to try to get, up, <clears throat> get at least a 7. So... Let's see. Mm. So I am going to go ahead and stop the video and train, and then I'll see you guys next time when I come back.